Hello my friends, welcome to this a total body stretch for women. We're gonna focus on our hips and our back. To begin, just come to a comfortable cross-legged seat. Place your right hand on the floor, left arm reaches up and over so you can mirror me. Let's just come into a big side body stretch. Begin to slow down your breath. Press down into the right hands, send the left ribs up towards the ceiling. And gently take it over to the other side. Each inhale, imagine your rib cage expanding up towards the sky. Each exhale, draw the navel in, press down into the ground and rotate the heart towards the ceiling. Beautiful, inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. So right away, we're gonna feel a nice little stretch in the low back and the hips. I like to rock side to side. Walk the hands over to the right. So you can continue to mirror me. And right away you'll feel the left hip and low back say hello. <laughs> Sits bones anchoring down and back. Slow your breathing down. And walk the hands to the other side. Mm. Anchor the sits bones to the ground. Imagine your breath could make your low back wider. So every inhale, you're opening the low back. Every exhale, drawing the core, the navel up and in. Walk the hands back to center. And then very slowly towards your feet to come back up to a seat. Let's come into downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs, spread the fingers wide. Slow your breathing down. Take a moment to see just how you're feeling in your body today. Opening up the back of each leg. Step, walk, or carry that right foot forward and drop the back left knee coming into a low lunge. Circle the arms down, around, and up. A big stretch. Exhale, cactus the arms back. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take the right hand to the right hip, reach the left arm up and over. An option, only if you want to, you could take this hand to the floor. Most of us will just keep the hand on the hip, breathe into the left side body. Nice, one more huge breath. Exhale, listen carefully, I want you to reach to the diagonal. So reach to the upper right corner of the mat. So you're going to find a really nice low back stretch here as you come into this big diagonal reach. Feel that. And then take both hands to the inside of the foot. Heel toe the right foot wide and let's sink into the hips here right away. So just rock the hips a little bit side to side and sink into this lizard stretch. Option one, you can stay up on the fingertips like me. Option two, only if you want to, come down onto the forearms. This is gonna be really intense. So just see where you wanna be in this moment. Slow your breathing down. Walk the right foot directly underneath the right shoulder again. Shift the weight back onto the left shin and flex the right toes back towards the face. Inhale, length, and exhale, fold. Nice deep hamstring stretch. Nice, re-bend into the right knee. Step it back to downward facing dog, your choice. If you want to take plank and chaturanga, you have that as part of your practice, feel free. Otherwise, just hold, hang out with me and downward facing dog, pedaling through the legs. Step, carry or walk the left foot forward. Drop the back right knee. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Side body stretch on the second side. So left hand to the hip, right arm up and over. 
And then remember, we're gonna find the diagonal, so reaching this right hand to the left corner of the room. So here's this juicy back stretch for us here. Reach, 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 reach. Beautiful, both hands come to the inside of the left foot. Juicy hip stretch, heel toe the left foot out to the left. So the heel is on the mat, toes on your floor or carpet in your house, sink the hips down. Option to roll the chest open. This is where I like to be in my lizard stretch. You might wanna come down onto the elbows. Slow your breathing down, wherever you are. Hmm. You can invite in a little bit of side to side motion or stillness. Beautiful, walk this foot, left foot back to center, shift the weight back onto the right shin, Ardha Hana Manasana, flex the left foot back towards the face, inhale, get long, exhale, hamstring stretch. Hmm. Keep drawing the navel back and in. Find length in the spine each time you breathe in. Beautiful, on your next exhale, rebend into the left knee, step it back, your choice, cat cows, or you can press back into down dog right away and do plank and chaturanga. Mm, we'll all meet downward facing dog. Continue to iron out your breath, feel into the backs of the legs. So now that we've warmed up the hamstrings a little bit, we're gonna come into one of my favorite stretches for the low back. You can step or walk your feet to the top of the mat. Make sure the feet are hip width apart and parallel, heels behind the widest, behind the widest part of the foot, so behind the second toe. Take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Knees are deeply bent. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, fold. Roll the weight until the balls of the feet. And then pull, so bend your elbows to the left and right of the room as you pull your chest and your heart down. Crown of head points directly towards the floor. And you should feel your low back begin to widen. If you straighten the legs, this becomes more of a hamstring stretch. That's lovely too, but for today's focus, I invite you to just keep the knees really deeply bent and pulling. It's like you wanna pull the big toes up off the floor like you mean it, widening the elbows to the left and right and really feeling the stretch in the low back. One more deep breath. Listen carefully. Uninterlace the toes, take the left elbow to the left thigh and straighten the right leg, take the right hand to the right hip. So we're gonna come in into a little IT band stretch here. So you should feel that outer right hip turn on. Option to take the right hand to the sky. Hmm. <laughs> and then let's switch this out. So bending the right knee, right elbow to right thigh, straighten the left leg, left hand to hip, shine the heart towards the left. And left arm has the option to reach up as well. Hmm. Continue to slow the breathing down. Beautiful, bend both knees, hands to the floor, chin into chest, and this is one of my favorite ways to really feel into the whole back body. I want you to imagine you're a Raggedy Ann doll, lengthen your tailbone to the space between your heels, chin into chest, and you're gonna round up one vertebra at a time. So feel through your low back, mid back, upper back, head is the very last thing to come up. Once you're there, just take the hands to prayer at heart center. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Feel yourself steady and anchored on your mat. Beautiful, hands to hips. Take a nice wide stance on your sticky mat now. Turn the right toes forward so you can continue to mirror me, front, right heel, biceps, back arch, and we'll come into triangle pose. So reaching forward and then right hand to right shin. Three deep breaths. Once again, slow your breathing down. And we'll do the same thing we did earlier. So left hand comes alongside the face, left, left bicep around the face if you're mirroring me. And now reach to the diagonal and see if you can find any juicy spots 
right in and around here to stretch out this quadrant of the low back. So we're kind of getting a little funky with our triangle pose, enjoying the hamstring stretch, but also trying to find ooh, a stretch in the low back. Beautiful, come on up and let's take this over to the other side. So hands to hips for a safe transition. Turn the right toes back in, left toes forward if you're mirroring knee, arms extend, front heel biceps back arch, coming into your triangle pose. So three breaths in traditional triangle pose. Draw the navel in, press down through the big toes and the heel, slurp up through the arches of the feet, really engage the thighs. And then right hand, right bicep, if you're mirroring me alongside the ear. And this is where we're gonna take it into our low back stretch. So kind of tapping, reaching towards the floor. Hand doesn't have to come to the floor. And playing on that diagonal. If you wanna have both hands on the floor, that's totally fine too. One more deep breath. Nice, and then come back up. Toes turn in, heels turn in. Let's come down to sit through a squat. So your squat may look kind of like this, feeling into the inner thighs and outer hips, widening the low back like in um, a flat back. Or if full malasana is in your practice, hands to prayer, press the elbows into the thighs and the thighs into the elbows, lift the heart. Wherever you are, just breathe into the low back. So think of the low back widening with each breath in. And each breath out, you kind of squeeze the core, lift up on the pelvic floor. Wherever you are, let's transition down to a seat. So bring either one knee and then the other to the ground or one hand or one elbow, very safe transition. And we'll start with the right leg extended, left knee bent. So once again, you're mirroring me. Inhale, deep breath in and exhale, fold. John Ushershasana. Resist the urge to kind of grab the foot, even though that might feel like it's gonna be a deeper stretch. Instead, really press into the floor, slide the heart forward, and use your core to propel you into this deep stretch. Hmm. Two more deep breaths. So here we're getting the hip and the low back at the same time. Remember, this is also a twist. You can always like lean your upper body a little bit more over the, the knee and the thigh. And I find that opens up this quadrant of the low back. Last breath. Beautiful, press yourself up, taking it over to the other side. Extending the left leg if you're mirroring me, right knee bent. Inhale, find length in the spine first. Exhale, heart shines forward, long spine. Every in-breath, you grow taller. The spine telescopes out of the pelvis, tailbone to crown of head. Every exhale, fold a little deeper. And then breathe into the low back. Slowly press yourself up. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor. Coming to lie down on your back. So once again, careful in the transitions. Elbow, elbow, and then shoulder, shoulder. Take the right foot over the left thigh and just pull the left thigh either into the chest or even just having the foot on the floor may feel like enough of a um, outer right hip stretch for you. So just see where you wanna be. Make sure the head, neck, and shoulders are relaxed. So notice if you're kind of like craning up to hold the thigh, maybe just take the foot to the floor in that instance and then let this knee um, magnetize forward. Couple deep breaths here. And keep the right foot flexed. And if you want an extra deep stretch, you can straighten the left leg. In no way required, make some circles with the ankle. And let's switch this out, other side. 
left ankle over right thigh, pull the right thigh into the chest, left foot is deeply flexed, now enjoying a stretch in the outer left hip. Continue to slow your breathing down, relax the shoulders, the jaw, the tongue. Extend the right leg if you did it on the other side. Circles with the ankle. And rebend. And coming into Shavasana, so you can either take the legs long or if you want to just find a little bit more of a low back stretch before we come into rest, come into Happy Baby. Hold the outer pinky toe edges of the foot and pull the knees down towards the chest and then think of lengthening the tailbone forward almost like you wanted to crush a penny with your tailbone by lengthening it, lengthening it forward or down. You can rock a little left to right here and then coming into Shavasana as you're ready. Allow the body to completely rest. If this tweaks or hurts the low back in any way, take the soles of the feet as wide as the mat and the knees to dip in to touch. Slow your breathing down. I'll leave you here to take a couple conscientious moments of rest and quiet. Wishing you a beautiful rest of the day. From my heart to yours, namaste.